G'day, this is Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we are going to continue looking at CNPAC. Uh, last time we did structural highlighting, this time we are going to have a look at the uh, prefix um, component prefix wizard. Let's take a quick look at the options and we'll see that there's lots of uh, different things here and um, there's a few things you can change. I can modify the prefix for T action for instance. Um, and uh, to use it on the name property of all your components uh, in the object inspector, uh, there is now this little ellipsis button, which we can um, rename our form. Uh, I'll make that prefix frm. So we've got a, a new name, which is frm1. I'll make it form main. Okay. okay. So um, it just makes it a bit easier to uh, name all your components consistently. So, so we've got a button on there, we can call it btn name, label name, and edit name. So you can see that's quite quite quick to uh, sort of name all your um, components appropriately. Uh, Pops up, pops up automatically. Um, also, if I control C and control V that, um, our button, button, button address, I'll just copy that. And there we've named our next set of uh, input buttons uh, fairly readily. And um, yeah, as as you probably noticed, we can change the um, the prefix. So if I, if I don't want it to be LBL, uh, forget the name property. We can modify the prefix and make it L. Uh, L address in this case. Ah, in fact, <laughs> it's just L for the prefix, and it becomes L address rather than LBL address. And we could fix that one too fairly readily. Um, there's a couple of other uh, interesting things that it can do. So if I add a client data set, and I've got CDS by our life, and uh, go and grab a by our life table, and I go add all fields, and basically um, I don't, I'm not interested in naming um, the float fields. I can go never ask again and ignore this type of component, and um, it will stick with the uh, standard names that uh, Delphi generates. So I'll throw a data source and call it uh, DS. By life, hook that up and add a db edit. Um, and I'm just going to go cancel on that for now. And if I hook that up to the data source and a field category, uh, it automatically wants to rename my uh, db edit to the uh, field name. And so I can go okay, okay with that. In addition, I'll throw in an action list, and I kind of like to leave action lists the default name, uh, and we'll throw an action in there, a new action, a save, um, and just call it save, and give it the um, uh, caption of save and throw a button on and again I'll just cancel and what I'm going to do is assign the action just a save and it um, automatically wants me to uh, name the button btn save. So that's pretty much uh, covering the um, component name uh, prefix wizard. 
um, in CNPEG. I hope you've found it useful. I, I've, I've been using it more and more. Uh, it saves quite a lot of time naming components, uh, giving them uh, good names so that you can uh, find them again in the uh, in the object inspector and what have you. So um, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv.